Okay, we've been asked to find the domain and the range of this continuous graph. And I picked this one as a circle because sometimes people get thrown off because it's a familiar shape and kind of forget about the basics. So let's start with the basics. First thing we need to do is just write down Dolar the robot because Dolar the robot reminds us how to read domain and range. Dolar stands for domain is red left to right and robot range is red bottom to top. So we're going to go ahead and start with our domain and I'm going to go ahead and just draw from the left to the right. So I'm going to draw a boundary on the very left side of my graph and a boundary on the very right side of my graph. Now as a reminder, domain is our x values, range is our y values. So since I'm focusing on domain, I'm going to go ahead and highlight my x-axis because the x-axis is what we're really focusing on right now. Okay, so to write my domain, I've got my left number and my right number. So my very far left number on the x-axis is negative 1. So I'm going to go ahead and put negative 1. And then my right number, my very far right number on the x-axis is 5. And I know that this is domain, x goes in the middle. And then we've got the open circle, closed circle, but we don't have any open circle or closed circle. All we really have are just solid lines. So I'm just going to remind you that solid line and dotted line, if we had a dotted line, we will use the less than sign. If we have a solid line, we use the less than or equal to. So both of these are going to be less than or equal to because we're dealing with a solid line. Now let's look at our range. We know that our range is red bottom to top. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my boundary at the bottom and draw my boundary at the top. Now we're dealing this time with the y-axis. So I'm going to highlight, I know we're running out of colors, but I'm going to highlight my y-axis between my bottom and top because this is all that matters is the y-axis between the bottom and the top. And now I'm going to go ahead and look on my y-axis and figure out what is my very bottom number. So looking on the y-axis, my bottom number down here is negative 8. So I'm going to go ahead and write negative 8. And my top number is negative 2. And we determined it's a y that goes in the middle and we've already concluded that they're going to be solid lines. So that's my domain and range.